Hello, Booktube. Well, I, I felt like I owed you another video, and it's quiet here. The, 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 my baby girl is sort of eyeing me <laughs> half asleep. She's been doing that on and off. She's not feeling very good. So I suspect that heavy weather, rain, or extra humidity is coming tomorrow. Uh, but I felt like I owed you another video, and, uh, and Sam at Sam's Nonsense gave me the perfect idea. Oh, she did an update on her channel, uh, an update video of her a tour through her commuter bag. <clears throat> and when I saw that, of course, I watched with rapt attention. That's exactly the sort of nosy, poke around in the medicine cabinet thing that I love. Uh, and while I was watching it, I realized it's been, it's been a long time since I did one on my own, almost a full year. So I thought I would, I would uh, for those of you who might be interested, I thought I would take you through my commuting bag uh, again. Uh, keeping in mind here that commuting bag is a bit of an elastic term for me. I don't actually... I don't actually go to work. This is more of my of my go outside bag, and I do that every day. I go out every day for two or three, maybe four hours, uh, with almost no exceptions. Sometimes I don't do it on Sunday, but otherwise, it, something every day. Uh, just, I mean, at first, for years and years and years, I did it. I did that. I made sure to do it because uh, it's good for dogs as pampered as my own to know that there's a space of time where I'm not going to be around. Uh, and it's also good for, for them as they get a little older because they, you know, they don't, there's actually a relief that they can get from wanting things and knowing that that want can be satisfied. They, there's a relief they can get from simply knowing that there's going to be complete solitude for a few hours where they can just sleep. Uh, and then at the very end of their lives, when, when the needs are great and, and multiple, it's healthy for me uh, to, to get away, to, to make elaborate preparations, make sure that everything's okay, and then leave for a little time just for myself before I come back and get right back to poop scooping duty. <laughs> uh, so I do use this bag, and I, I, wanted to, I wanted to walk you through it in case those of you, there might be some of you, there are a thousand more of you than there were last time, maybe, maybe you'd be interested. Uh, and it's this. This is the bag in question. It's a battered old leather shoulder bag. And it's, it looks, it's identical. It's the same bag that I had in the last one of these videos that I did. And from that, you would never know that in between almost the whole of the months that have elapsed from that video to this, it was a different bag. One I've actually showed on a video. For, for weeks and weeks, I was thinking about a new shoulder bag because this one is it's battered all the heck and gone. Uh, and I have a sweet tooth for shoulder bags in any thrift shop or Goodwill or, or charity shop of any kind. They're one of the first things I look at just to see if there's a really nice one. Uh, big and capacious, but also tough and maybe good looking with a, a nice, big, generous uh, spaces. I look for them always. I have a sweet tooth for them, especially if they're $5 or so. But <clears throat> I was thinking uh, months and months and months ago, well, you know, I was actually online looking at L.L. Bean, and I was thinking, maybe just go ahead and get a brand new bag. And they're expensive. They're $50, 50 or $60. And uh, I was thinking about it. I was putting it off, and I was thinking about it. I was putting it off. And then the next day, I went to a Goodwill and found a brand new brown L.L. Bean bag, a big, beautiful thing with pouches and pockets everywhere. I fell in love with it instantly. Uh... And I used it for almost the whole time between that last video and this one. Now, this not, you're not going to believe it. It looks like I just don't ever change. <laughs> but it, in fact, if you'd met me on the street at, at, during that interval, you'd have seen me with a different bag. And the only reason that it's not in this video is because I wore it out. I wore it out. I wore it until until the, the joints and the weak spots were had holes in them and were frayed and ragged. And unlike a, a leather bag, with a cloth bag, that's the end. There's nothing you can do about that. A leather bag isn't going to do that for a long time. This, but the LL Bean bag, I wore it out. <laughs> Eventually, when I realized that, I had to uh, retire it and move everything back to this leather bag. <laughs> so this is the one we're dealing with today. It's this. It's a very old thing that I that I found uh, at a Goodwill for four dollars and just grabbed it. Uh, and it, it it consists of a large uh, zippered pocket in the back, and in that zippered pocket, you can't see it now. Oh no, it's on the other, it's on the floor over there. Usually, I have a great big canvas tote bag, a folding tote bag, absolutely essential 
because in the at the end of any of those three or four hours out of the house, I have accumulated books that that fill this bag and exceed it. So I need something else to carry things in. Uh, so in this in this uh, outside, that's where I keep the tote bag and nothing else. Uh, and then we've got the flap. The flap uh, with these old leather bags, the, the flap has nothing on it itself. Sometimes newer bags will have a pocket built into the flap. This one doesn't have that. It's just one big flap that covers the whole of the inside thing. Uh, and then uh, the front pocket, this this front, it's, it's capacious. One of the things I like about this leather bag is that it has no small pockets. So let's go through what we have here, shall we? Uh, in this front pocket, I have toothbrush and toothpaste in case I eat out on the go. I have a uh, cloth for cleaning both myself and my <laughs> my electronics. I have, uh, oh, let's see here, uh, my uh, Christian Science Monitor <laughs> uh, electronic door opener and hall pass, uh, which has my name on it, but unfortunately the picture on it is Whitey Bulger. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> uh, and then the only other thing at the, in the very outside of this is my leather billfold. Uh, which is, I've, I've had to reinforce it with Gorilla Tape, so it's not long for this world. And I, I keep an eye out for these things as well. Uh, and what have we got in here? Just for the full snoop. <laughs> uh, one of these pockets, what's... Oh, yes, okay, this is my uh, my supermarket card, so that the government can track my purchases. Uh, and then I've got, I found this doodle in a book. <laughs> and I just wanted to keep it. Uh, and then a little panel from uh, Kurt Swan from ages and ages ago. This is a job for Superman. <laughs> uh, uh, then my uh, Open Letters business card. Uh, managing editor, Open Letters Monthly. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, <laughs> there's a, a wonderful, wonderful beagle and, and his boy. <laughs> oh, my. I <laughs> think photos existed from that long ago. Uh, then on the other side, we have, uh, let's see here, my Boston Athenaeum card for the library. Uh, and then uh, friends of mine have told me for months and months that I would really like the cafe experience. That they, I would really like taking this bag and all my work for those four hours to a cafe. That I would I would appreciate it if I started. I've never done it before. I've never sat at a cafe and done that. Uh, and one of them actually sent me a Starbucks gift card loaded with money so that I could give it a try. I still haven't done it. Uh, then uh, my Barnes & Noble uh, lifetime discount card. Uh, because I, I retired from them after a quarter of a century. Uh, then uh, my Boston Public Library card, uh, my uh, debit card, all important debit card for money on the go. And up at the top of the thing, the closest, the one, the one that's right up out, out at the front, so that you can tap it without taking it out, is my subway card for Boston, my Charlie card. That's Charlie on the MBTA. <laughs> uh, no more tokens. Absolute magic. Bing, Bing, Bing. Each person doing that. Uh, and then on the inside, we have we have moolah. We have money. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80. So not a lot of money, uh, not a lot of cash in the, in the billfold right now. But, uh, but that changes. That goes up and down. Uh, and then it, uh, as a, sort of a, an afterthought here on, in this, I have one writing utensil, a pen. Uh, all the others have, have gone, and the pen I don't think I've used in months. And then in a little side pocket out front here, I have a book, an actual physical book, Richard III, uh, in one of these lovely collector's uh, library editions. These things, they have, they have the original black and white illustrations of the, the edition from a long time ago. Uh, and they have uh, the, the gold gilt pages and the built-in bookmark uh, for uh, ShakeTube 2017. Uh, Richard III is the next book. For Shake Tube 2017, so of course that will change. That book would change all the time. Uh, and then we move on to the next. Uh, this thing has three divisions on the inside. The outside has all of that quotidian stuff, stuff that you actually use when you're out and about. Uh, and then the next one is empty because it fills with books. <laughs> I try to keep it very, very. I don't carry physical books with me when I leave the house anymore. I've got 300 of them on my phone, so that interval is taken care of with either Richard III or whatever little book I have in that spot, the books on my phone, or the next thing I'm going to show you, which is a new habit of mine that I absolutely love, which is this, the MacBook Air, uh, which is light as a feather. Uh, and I have, I put the, uh, the plastic protector on the top and bottom, 
and a plastic protector on the keys. Uh, so uh, it's not really in any danger of being hurt. And also a key thing if you're traveling out and about with a MacBook, you probably know this already. I had to learn it the hard way. Uh, a lot of the wires that connect the motherboard are right behind this black bar. So if it takes a hard knock, those can disconnect. And then your, your MacBook won't, it would be a perfectly working machine, but it won't work for you. The screen won't turn on, the power won't turn on, or whatever. You want to minimize that by always holding it like this when you put it in your bag. This can take all the pounding in the world. This cannot. So you want to have this up on top, now, not down on the bottom. Uh, but I have recently, uh, in the last few months, I have fallen in love with uh, dispensing with the iPad, which, you know, my iPad is old and the the its capacity and its transfer abilities of moving stuff that I do on it elsewhere are cranky now and they take time. Uh, so I don't I don't use that anymore. And I also used to have a folder with paper in it and, and pens and whatnot. Don't have that anymore. Instead I have this. And I have uh, I have uh, Google Chrome that has an offline feature. One of the one of the apps for Google Chrome is to work offline, so that you can you can when you open it when you're outside of Wi-Fi you can see your mail and you can type responses. They don't you don't get to send them, but they're there in your outbox ready for the minute the thing is back in Wi-Fi. And also you can do documents. You you can do you can do I can work on the documents that are on my desktop. I can work on them, finish them, and then attach them to my an email and mail them to myself. And when I get back into Wi-Fi, they're waiting in my inbox. So it's incredible. It's much more convenient than the iPad. It, the only problem with it was mental. It took me forever not to feel self-conscious about taking this out on the subway, opening it, and getting to work. And the thing that... Uh, <laughs> here's my... Here's my whistle long for snooping. That's the one ring to rule them all. That's my, my uh, computer background. Uh, the thing... The main thing that made me more comfortable doing that was more and more people doing that. <laughs> so, so now I'm absolutely in love with it. When I leave the, the apartment, I take the MacBook Air with me. Uh, and I get so much done. Oh... I get so much done during the times when I leave the house when I don't have company, which is about half the time. 50% of the time, I am going out to meet muscular teenagers or old friends or whatever, and we will do things together. And that sometimes involves some time back and forth by myself on a subway or whatever, on a bus. Uh, but usually it's, it's all taken up with company. But half the time, that's not true. Half the time, it's just me and myself. <laughs> uh, and I have discovered the joys of simply getting work done during that whole time and not needing any kind of transfer issues like I would do with the iPad. Instead, I have this. I have a MacBook Pro, and I have a, an old MacBook that's 10 years old that I love, an old warhorse that I can pound away on, and I have the MacBook Air. So there's no need to, to worry about it at all. That's wonderful. So that's what's in the inside flap here. Now, at all times, I, I charge it overnight uh, on the, the the eve of days that I'm going to be out uh, and then just bring it with me. Uh, and then the last thing uh, in this tedious tour uh, is the other thing that's in this big back pouch, and that is reading material, periodicals. Uh, because I go to uh, a little Chinese, hole-in-the-wall Chinese food restaurant to read periodicals. I'm going there forever. Uh, and uh, the, the, I make sure that the, the back pouch of the bag has the latest periodicals so that I have something to read if, I, if the day happens to, to bring me there. Uh, and right now we have Asimov's Science Fiction, a uh, great, great Square Bound Digest magazine. Uh, they're in their 40th year, their 40th anniversary. It's incredible. Uh, the literary journal uh, where I work, Open Letters Monthly, uh, is 10 years old this year. And I'm just, it, that's giving me a heightened awareness of what an achievement it is to reach a round number with a magazine you're putting out every month. That's just incredible. Uh, but Asimov's has such great stuff in it. Every issue of Asimov's has at least two stories in it that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Uh, there's, I mean, every issue there'll be filler and average stuff. But in every issue, at least two stories that are brilliant. Uh, so I make sure, I make sure to have it with me. Uh, and then what else we got? Oh, this is a uh, Wired uh, technology magazine that has all sorts of uh, predictions and 
you know, meme articles and whatnot. Uh, and then, oh, Sierra, Sierra Magazine. This is a, it's their industry. It's their, it's their in-house magazine that they do. Uh, it, it's what you get it with. You get it if you, if you, if you donate money to Sierra Club, you get, you get their magazine. And it's just basically nature related articles. Uh, and then uh, Men's Journal, uh, which this is the style and design issue. So we'll have the front half of it will be all about the latest smartphones and smart watches and whatnot uh but the back half of men's journal men's they pay really well for their feature for their feature articles and they have a battery of editors with really good taste and they have for a long time and a men's journal men's journal anthologies of of pieces are well worth your time if you see them in a used bookstore it is really quality writing and the back half of every magazine of every issue is devoted to those those feature pieces of writing so i i uh I never miss them. Uh, like, for instance, what have we got? What have we got in this one? The beginning is always uh, uh, hit or miss. But uh, then there's the the feature articles are oh well, they're not they're not uh, they're not they're not conveniently listed. But that's all right. Uh, the one thing you'll notice with uh, Men's Journal, Sierra, <laughs> Wired, and Asimov's. Is what I've mentioned on this channel before, which is that I no longer read. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no longer carrying around with me uh, current event or periodical magazines. Just, just maddening. It, the, I mean, I'm carrying these things around to eat them, while, to read them while I eat, and reading about those subjects immediately evaporates my my appetite. So I don't bother to do it anymore. <laughs> I just, I've, I've revamped my subscriptions so that so that they reflect safe reading. Uh, and that's it. The only uh, the only other detail for my my uh, commuter bag is this wonderful shoulder strap. Look at this thing. This uh, this bag originally came with a really crappy black, uh, thin, painful <laughs> shoulder strap. But uh, it has the one of the neat, the neat feature designs that I like of shoulder bags is that you, is the ones that have the belt buckle so that you can swap out the shoulder strap. And this shoulder strap actually came from a different bag. And it's it's got these the swivel pivots there and it's uh, really durable and the, the strap itself is very comfortable. Uh, so I just took it off that other bag and swapped it onto here. So there you go. When you come to SteveCon 2018, and we are out and about at the Brattle and the, the Boston Common and the, the 21st Amendment and a whole bunch of my usual haunts. This is what I will be wearing, almost certainly, unless I find a great bag in between then and now. Because this thing is, yes, it's incredibly battered, but uh, it has two things in its favor. One, uh, incredibly battered actually looks good on leather. And two, uh, it's, it's so far proved almost indestructible, so it, I might still be using it when you all convene on Boston. <laughs> but there you go. That is the, uh, the commuter bag uh, video for this time around. And it's not a tag. I saw Sam do it and I immediately wanted to do my own. It's not a tag. I realize that. But I still want to see it from every one of you. <laughs> I want to see it from every one of you. I want each of you to get in front of the camera with the bag you walk around with and let me snoop through it. <laughs> so, so get on that <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you, Booktube.